Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to some more LSPDFR. I uh, am really pleased to bring this series back. Everybody seems to really enjoy it. I have a lot of fun with it, especially now that there are um, a lot of mods to be had in this game. There are a lot of things we can do now. Um, uh, we just currently picked up a... Uh, uh, suspect here we're just taking him down to a jail this is part of a mod that I have where it actually adds more jail points because whoa my car randomly does that all the time <laughs> it just randomly like drives off but anyway um, in the normal LS PDFR mod there's like one jail this uh, here actually adds tons of different police stations all over the place which is super cool so that way if I decide I want to start bring it in suspects myself I can actually take him to all these different police stations which is super super cool so Ben Humphreys was just taken to jail what's cool about dropping off uh, suspects as well is it actually fixes your vehicle which is super cool we've got a 1099 in Del Perro we got a uh, traffic stop an officer is requiring a backup Copy that. We're moving right now 10 4 respond code 2 so we're going to respond to this code too. We got an officer actually right around the corner that's got a traffic stop and he's uh, requesting some backup here. Should be just right up here. Where is he? I'm not seeing him. It shows him like right here. That's weird. I'm not seeing him. <laughs> That's really... Not unless it's... His car's bugged out or something. We're going to kind of... Okay. I was going to hook around right here. Maybe he's got this guy pulled over. It's the only thing I can think of. Maybe he's bugged out. Oh. Yeah, that car just took off. Maybe. Let's see. Hmm, I think that this, uh, this dude's bugged out, to be honest. <laughs> Just saying. Oh. We have an officer requiring assistance in... There we go. Maybe that's the one. Maybe it just bugged copy out. That. We're moving right now. 10 copy that. Respond code 2. Alright, so we're gonna code 2 over to this one real quick. Maybe that one just got bugged out. All right, so let's go and see if we can give this officer some backup here. He's actually just down the street again. Always want to proceed with caution through these intersections, especially going with uh, red lights like that. So he should be... There he is, right there. Huh, I wonder if maybe it was a, a wrong location or something, but we're gonna go ahead and come on over here, and then we're gonna back this guy up. By the way, we are driving an unmarked uh, police car today. Got myself a new flak jacket here. All right. Hey, officer, having a good day? The vehicle I pulled over was speeding. I'm gonna write out a ticket for that offense. Please act as backup while I do so. Yes, sir. All right, we're going to back him up for the duration of the uh, traffic stop. So I'm going to just go ahead and stand right back on the corner of the uh, vehicle here just to keep an eye on him just in case he doesn't do anything fishy while he writes out this ticket. His ticket was complete. The last time I did a backup like that, the uh, guy ended up running, so that was a good one that uh, we actually were able to see um, just a normal traffic stop for a backup. Really cool. All right, cool. Not too bad. Seems like a pretty easy date. Oh my gosh, the calls. Uh-oh. Stolen police vehicle. We're going to code three to this one. Actually, we'll switch to code two, but we've got a... Come on. 
Oh my gosh. Some of these people, I swear, intentionally do that. Looks like right here's our stolen police vehicle. Nope. We've got a suspect resisting arrest. Whoa! Whoa! He's shooting at me. Holy crap. Shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. All right. Let's get some, uh... Oh, snap. I just got into a car accident. All right. Shots fired. Suspect is in a stolen police vehicle heading east on a Palomino Avenue. We are uh, in pursuit. He has shot at me. I uh, sustained one shot so far. Okay, we're gonna have to bring out our pistol just to be safe in case we have to return fire. I really don't want to have to return fire, especially in the city. Let's see if... Oh my gosh! These cops pit maneuvered me. They're damaging my cruiser bad, too. Oh my gosh, they pit maneuvered me again. These cops are, like, ridiculous. You gotta be careful with these cops, man. They are, like, relentless. Like, they're brutal. Alright, we are still in pursuit, heading northbound on Portola Drive. Looks like we've got two additional units that are uh, in pursuit of the stolen police car. If we can get him up into these hills here with no other people, I'm gonna pit maneuver him right here. And he's still shooting at me. Oh, I sustained another shot. I have sustained another shot. This guy is open fire. No care. No cares given here. All right, we're gonna have to try and take, hopefully we can get this guy uh, stopped here. The problem is, is he has got a, oh, looks like that officer tried to pit maneuver him. Oh my gosh, don't pit maneuver me now. I'm gonna let these guys uh, take the lead because I've taken two shots so far. I'm just glad I was wearing my vest today. I had a feeling I should have worn a vest today. Oh, they just crashed. Looks like one officer just crashed. Suspect just crashed as well. Uh, but they are still actually able to keep going. Crashed again. We're heading south on Cougar Avenue. Oh, looks like here we go. All right. Suspect stop. Oh! And I just got hit by another officer. Just got hit by another officer. All right. We're going to have to uh, get... Let's see, let's get uh, local air support in on this here. I just lost my bumper. We're airborne and moving in. Over. My uh, cruiser is sustaining tons of damage in this pursuit. How in the world did this guy get a stolen police vehicle is beyond me. And it's starting to rain, so we're going to be slipping and sliding everywhere. Alright, we got to catch up. I went ahead and called in an air air support to uh, keep track on this guy in case we end up losing him. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we've got two additional units. Looks like three additional units that are in pursuit of this guy. Worst case scenario is, is we're going to have to call in uh, some more units to try and maybe roadblock this guy. I know there actually is... Oh, looks like that unit just crashed. Um, I know that there is... Uh, a mod that allows you to actually do roadblocks. I just have never done it before. I don't know where this guy's going. I'm losing him. There he is, right up here. Alright. I think I've got this guy. He's just right up here. And I'm gonna hook around this way. All right, I'm heading east on Davis Avenue right now. We are trying to catch up to this guy, but he is really moving. All right, I'm going to hook over to this street here. Oh, it actually looks like he went down to a dead end down here. Or no, I actually am heading to a dead end. I'm heading east on Grove Street. Now heading, uh, let's see, east on Covenant Avenue. We're going to have to get some more units here. Backup needed in. The rest of my units are no longer in pursuit. Alright, I've caught up to the chopper here and the uh, stolen police vehicle. There it is. is 
All right, suspect is looks like he's hung up on a. Uh, I'm gonna shoot out his tires real quick. Whoa! Oh no! Oh! I just took a shot to the chest. Looks like he had a passenger with him too. All right, everybody. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, as soon as I took that shot and went down, I ended up. Um, the game just randomly ended up closing out on me, which was very, very odd. So uh, we are back on a brand new beat here. I'm just grabbing some armor and some weapons for my daily patrol. You just never know what we are going to encounter. We've got an officer in need of assistance in uh, Rockford Hills. All right, so we got another officer in need of a uh, Moving right now. Roger. of backup. All right, so we're going to respond code 2 to this one and go back up this officer really quick as well. And that guy just ran a red light right in front of me. He's lucky I'm code 2 to another call right now. Looks like he's just up here in the back streets. Hopefully all goes well with this one. Yep, he's just right around the corner here. Yep, right here. Alright, so oh, and he took off. We have a possible 148 in Rockford Hills. Alright. We are in pursuit, heading eastbound on West Eclipse Boulevard. Suspect just took off from a traffic stop. Uh, we got one additional unit in route right now, including myself. From the looks of it, looks like it's a uh, black charger. Can't really tell, but we're heading still east on Eclipse Boulevard. We got one additional unit in route. All right, let's see if I can get this guy to, if I can just cut this guy off and stop him, to stop this real quick. Oh, he's just pushing my car. He's pushing my car. There we go, we've got him. Nope, he just pushed my cruiser out of the way. All right, so I am still in pursuit. Suspect is uh, still running east on Vinewood Boulevard. Looks like he got stuck at a traffic section here. We're going to go ahead and use this to our advantage. He's wedged up. Get out of the vehicle. Hands above your head. There we go. We are south on Vinewood and Alta Street. Suspect has gotten out of the vehicle. All right, we've got the... Uh, whoa, whoa, my goodness. All right, suspect has been arrested. We have the suspect in cuffs. We're good. Arthur Kane. Attention, this is dispatch. We are code four. No further units required. All right, we are code four for an Arthur Kane. All right, let's go ahead and check our computer real quick for an Arthur Kane. And see if he's got anything on him. Arthur Kane, license is valid, no active warrants, which is good. Okay. We are good on that aspect of it. We're gonna go ahead and search him. Arthur had nothing on him, so let's go ahead and uh, let's get him picked up real quick. As soon as we can get Arthur picked up here. There we go. Let's go ahead and put him in the back of the cruiser while we uh, search the car and get a tow truck here for this vehicle. Go ahead and get in the car now. All right. Okay, we got Arthur in the car. We've got an officer requiring assistance on a Del Let's Carol see. Freeway. Let's go ahead and run a plate check on this car as well and see if it came up stolen. We know Arthur Kane is the guy driving it. We're going to search it as well while we're waiting for the callback. 
Registered to a Jackson Bulbul. All right. Well, we know the vehicle is in fact stolen. That's why the. Uh, that's probably why he ran. So we do have a stolen vehicle on our hands, and it was a gauntlet, by the way. I don't know the names of all the vehicles in GTA, but we're just gonna go ahead and search it real quick. Make sure he didn't stash anything in it. I think we've got nothing here, guys. We're gonna search the driver's side real quick, and then we'll call in a tow truck. Yep, nothing of interest, so the car is clean. He probably just ended up stealing it, so let's go ahead and radio in for a tow truck. All right, tow truck company has arrived on scene. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get my cruiser out of the way here. We'll let the tow truck take him, and then we're gonna go ahead and check out where the nearest jail is for us to, uh, looks like there's a jail actually just up the road here. So we'll go ahead and take him up here and take him off the jail for a Grand Theft Auto. Not too bad, guys. This one was probably a little bit longer of, a, of an episode, but like I said, uh, I really am enjoying all these different mods and stuff on here, and um, I really have a lot of stuff still to show you guys. I have so much stuff planned, it's just I uh, don't have enough time in the day to get them all recorded, and at the same time, I want to pace myself and not do too many of the mods all at once. That way, uh, we still have a little bit of a variety here. And then eventually, you know, I know that you can do all sorts of different skins and custom car mods and all that sort of stuff, but when you start doing that, um, it really is a very time-consuming process on getting all the different cars. And I'm perfectly content with running, you know, unmarked and the regular standard police cars for now. Um, I think we'll be okay with that. Actually, there is a dirt trail. What is this guy doing? We're just going to circle around here and get on the dirt trail. I think the police station is just right up here. It's like a wilderness station or like a sheriff's department up here. Yeah, it's just right here. All right, we're going to go ahead and drop this guy off up here. All right, officer is dealing with Arthur Kane. He is going to jail for a Grand Theft Auto. Our car should be repaired during this process as well, and it is outstanding. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna wrap up this episode here. Reporting a petty theft in uh, La Mesa. And we got a gas theft. We'll save that for the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.